network objects. So today we learn it's a network object. What is network? The network means it is a simple connection. The internet of it is called the network means it is a simple connection. In IP, it is called it is a series of points or systems that are interconnected by the element. In general, the computer networks are referred as a network. In general, if we call uh, so in general the network should be referred to as referred as a network means the collection of uh, the hardware, hardware components and the computers interconnected by the communication channels. It is called so on network what we have to do actually. Exactly what we have to do on the network. We have to share so what we have to share, we have to share the resources. Resources and the information to share the data between the systems. Data between the two systems, more than two systems, when we connect the network into the network. In network, we have to centralize and manage data and applications. For example, email, a database, and web services, web, so uh, this comes in the examples. So, I'm going to have to share these. And the next, we uh, have to discuss here the types of networks. We have to write something. What are the types of networks? Types of types of types of networks. How many types of networks we have? This is this is a network design. Or the design area area network the next that was so called good. Network was protocols. That was protocols. The final. Wired versus is a wired. This kind of wired versus and wireless technology. So we have to see uh, these are the types of networks and uh, we can go one by one to the network design, what is the network design. In network design, classified into the two categories. One is a client server, and it is client server, client server model, client server, and this is the another model is peer to peer. Here. And so design is designed uh, classified into two types. So we explain client server model and peer to peer. We'll discuss this about exactly client server model and the peer to peer. And the second is the area network. So what is the network area? So in general, uh, when we discuss this is the LAN and the WAN. What is LAN? Local area network. LAN is a wide area network. The LAN means it is a, you can share the resources within a building or within a floor, within a campus. So, the 
This all it is a proprietary protocol. These protocols are called it is a proprietary protocol. Actually, these protocols are in the routing protocol. This all it is a routing protocol. These protocols are. And you have a another one which is the generalization category. So, our another one is the open set. What is open and another one? Is it is it a proprietary? Another. And this is the first time. The open is a TCP IP. TCP. And finally, it is a wireless and wireless processing device. And it is wireless. So, a network, network we have to use internet cables to connect a LAN. So, how we can connect this internet uh, LAN? We have to use some wires. So that wires are called internet cables to connect a LAN. So this call is called it the wire wire. And the wireless. So this has been the wireless networking. Wireless networking is the foundation of the wire network. So if we compare to the field wire versus wireless, wireless is like that. Uh, it is a compared to the less uh, compared to the field uh, wire to so wireless is a compared to the very really less. It is a less. But uh, if you see it is a feature, it is a operating image for wireless technology. In types of networks, in types of networks, we can see our network classifications. What are the classifications we have? Network data. See what is the first one for which we types of network to the first one of the network design. Okay. The first design. Network design. See, the network design. In types of network, uh, we can see our uh, it is a network application. So if you see it's a network application, it's a network design. Uh, before uh, we have to know the network design, the first we have to see uh, some terminology. What is the terminology we have to see here? It is a server. It can be divided into two categories. It is a server. And it is a client. Server client client. What is server? Server can act as a different role actually, according to the application. Means it is, for example, the uh, server we can make it as a web server or file server or train server according to the role. So we have to, <coughs> it can act as a different server and it can provide different services to our clients. It is called it is a server. In client, uh, in server it is called actually it is a service provider. The server is called server is called service provider. Service provider. It is called service provider. Client is called it is a service request. It is called service service request. For service request. A client, <coughs> the main city that the client can work in network. Client can where it can work actually, client can work on the network. Means it is service request. So it can be any system in the network. So that is, it is a client. For example, if you are accessing the browser, okay, the time your system acts as a client. Means a service 
request. So we have to request the service. And the server can provide the service that may be anything like uh, like the DNS, uh, the one name system, uh, it is a, or it is a DHCP, the Android Central Protocol, okay, name will be listed. Or uh, anything. The types of the, the types of networks according to the design, we can classify into the two categories. Whatever the two categories, that is a peer to peer. The one is peer. The peer to peer The second one is the server client. The first one. In peer to peer, uh, it's like I told you in uh, the first it is a network type, the network design. In the network design, uh, we are calling it as it is classified into two categories. One is the client server and the peer to peer. Uh, we are discussing it as a network design. So this network design is classified into the two categories. One is the peer to peer and the server client. Who are the exact the peer to peer? What is peer to peer and what is the server client? In peer to peer, one computer, one computer actually server, as well as a client. The server, the system, the big system, the computer, uh, acts as a server as well as it is a client. Means, in my network, every system, the service provider as well as a service requester. Means, every system acts as a service provider and service requester. For example, if I install any computer like this, then see here, this is my PC. This is connected here. This is my network which is connected here. So it is a pair. This system, all the system, uh, if I install, there is a printer. Install printer. <coughs> In the system, if I install uh, any uh, printer options, that system acts as a provider. The system is act as a provider. Other systems which are request act as a client. These are the client act as a this is a provider. In peer to peer, service can provide. And service can request. The next server client. What is server client? Configuration is uh, the server client uh, one uh, some configuration one computer or some computers act as a server. So in my land, so we have uh, so many systems. Okay. I can um, I can make it as a one PC, one system as a server acts as a, and the rest of systems uh, in the clients are some systems, like three, four systems uh, which act as a server, and uh, the rest of the systems are act as a, a client. Exactly how? So, means some computers act as a server, means it's a service provider, means it is a, a, a system, those are in the server. Those are all in the service provider. The service may be anything like web service or file service or the print service. <coughs> and this computer is acted as server and service provider. And the rest of other computers are act as a service requests, requested as a client. That is nothing but it is a server client. Network design. That's going to the two, two categories, peer-to-peer -peer and the server and client. So what is peer-to-peer? Uh, peer-to-peer, -to -peer, every system acts as a server provider and service, service can provide and service can request. In client and server, some systems act as a server, so the rest of systems are act as a client. 
the first corner of the So now we have to discuss now we have to discuss together. So together network. So what are the models we have? Just now we discussed it in the open standard and that is a uh, proprietary. So, what are the open standard we have the protocols we have? The protocols which uh, the open standard is OSM. OSM model is the open standard protocol. Uh, it is a TCP IP. This protocol is open standard protocol. This is developed by ISO. In the year 1997, they started and officially they launched in the year 1984. OSM model. Almost it is 80 years they work on this model. And this is the IP. In the year 1969. In the year 1969, the DOD Department of Defense, they use this, and the American people, they use this model. So, in this time, in this era, still uh, uh, some vendors like IBM, Intel, Dialog, Motorola, these are uh, the manufacturer, these are the system manufacturers, these are the vendors. The, uh, the organizations are using these computers. That's fine, okay. So, in my organization, if I am using it as a one IBM machine, or maybe it's IBM machines, if I am using inside my organization, the IBM can communicate the IPA. So, vendor specific. It is forward to the vendor specific action. So, if I want, if I want some other systems, okay, if I want the, uh, if I want some other systems like Motorola, Zellar, or Intel, I want, if I want to purchase, uh, I can purchase, but it's uh, inside in my organization. We can communicate what my uh, what is other vendors. So IBM cannot communicate with Zilog. So that is the problem actually for those times actually. So it is called vendor specific actually. So how to overcome this problem? So at the time it is OSA. So OSA the bill one uh, the standards that is the, the model is called it is the OSA models. The OSA models uh, they launched officially in the 1984. So, if any vendor, any specific vendor, so if you, uh, if, it, if you want to communicate, so you have to follow some certain standards. So, if you follow the certain standards, the uh, systems, uh, those manufacturers, okay, they can communicate. Otherwise, we can't communicate. So, what is exactly OSA model? The OSA means it's an open system, interconnection, interconnect. Go develop this international organization for standardization, which is the ISO. ISO build this OSA model. So, it is a seven layer structure. The OSA model is a seven layer structure. The seven layer structure is a, the top layer is application, the sixth layer is the presentation layer, the fifth layer is the session layer, the fourth layer is the transport layer, the third layer is the network layer, the second layer is the dynamic layer, the first layer is the processing layer. So the hierarchy is the top to bottom. We have some slides we have to see. This way. See more. Seven layer structure, application, this is L7, application, L7, L6, the additional layer. Thank you. 
Bottom three layers are called hardware layers. Software and hardware layers. So in, in between the software layers and hardware layers, there is a one layer which can communicate. So the which layer it can communicate, the layer is a software. See here in the application layer, the user interaction. It is called the user interaction layer. So it is a top layer. When any user can directly interact with the application. Like for so your monitor. Okay. So application. So what type of application is it? If I am using MS Office, so Word is the one, my application. A TTP, power controller. Okay, it is my application. So that application, the user can interact directly. So here we have the headers. Header, app, CD, protocol data, unit. In the word format. In this layer 7, the header, the L7 header, L7 header, application layer header. The CD is the format, it is a data. So what we are saying? We are sending it in, which is it is a readable format. It is a plain text. So we can understand this in the application layer. The next step, this layer, the presentation layer. What is the presentation layer? Presentation layer is nothing but it is a file extension. Every file we have some extensions. Like uh, dog. IMG means image file or dot jpeg is also image file dot mpeg video file dot text text file so who will give this this extensions file extensions in other nation you can convert it to the files into the some book some Extensions. According to your data, you can convert it into files into some format. Presentation layer can do one more thing actually here. You can input. The data can input. Data can, which is not readable format. Which means input means a combination of the three things like alphabets, again, alphabets, two types, caps. Capital letters and four letters. Numerical letters 0 to 9. Next special characters 1%, at grade, percentile, average. Okay. The combination of these. So, that is the, the data is the data is the But still, it is that in presentation layer that the data is not changed actually. So, this header can contain this data. Here it is a data. 
insertion layer, we have a fleet insertion. So what a session can do? Session can do three things. It can create a session, maintain the session, and terminate the session. So still it is a data is not changed. Data alpha header can contain still it is a data. Data is not changed here. So session we have a transmission batch. What are the transmission batch we have? Simplex. Simplex, half duplex. Full duplex. Full duplex. Session layer can do three things. Create, maintain, terminate. And the session can do transmission types. What are the transmission types? Simplex, half duplex, full duplex. Simplex means one way communication. Half duplex means two way communication. But either it has one time. So sender or receiver. The full duplex is a Fans and receive at the same time. So it is called it is full duplex. Then next transport layer. What is transport layer? What is the function of the transport layer? Transport layer is having the major two things actually. Here, the transmission services we have. Transmission. Transmission services. What type of services we have? And it is a port numbers. Port numbers. What transmission types we have here? We have a TCP and UDP. TCP means connection oriented, UDP means connectionless. This is a reliable, which is unreliable, which is a sequence, which is not sequence, and port numbers. So what port numbers we have to use? So if we have a transport layer, it's protocols. Those protocols are called layer 4 protocols. So how many protocols we have in this layer 4? So we have a, a total 0 to 65,535. So total 65,536 protocols we have. These protocols are used, these services, TCP and UDP services, and this protocol can use the port numbers. So each and every protocol is having one port number. According to the port number, we have to draw the services, the firewall counter. It can work inside. So, how it can work inside this protocol, we can use the services and this protocol has a one number. So each protocol is having one number. And here, Error correction. Error correction means that there is a the flow control. Flow control and the window size. Here data is sending. This is called it is a software layers. The top three layers are called it is software layers. Now we are communicating my bottom three layers are hardware layers. In between we have the protocol that is a there is a one layer, the layer is a transport layer. What exactly it can do here? The data is a huge the you know, top layer. So it is sending here. The in transport layer, it can, the data, I can't give too much data to my next, next layer. So data is uh, converted into the segments. So here, the flow control. So flow control means uh, too much data. So I can't give too much data to my next layer. Next layer. So, so here, we have a window size. What is the window size here? So it can sense one segment. If it is coming back, it sends two segments coming back, three segments coming back, and the fourth segment did not come back. So it can divide my data in the three segments. Or this is a one by one. Or there is a combination like it's a three into one. First it can send three into one to the three segments and three into two to the six. The next 3 into 3, which is a 9 segment system sense. 3 into 4, is a 12. 12 I can't reach. So there is no alternative written back. So, the 
थोड़ा बहुत दिस प्लेयर फ्लो कंट्रोल इज माय ओनली नाइन सेकंड सो इट्स एसेंस इट कैन डिवाइड विद दिस डाटा इनटू द नाइन सेकंड्स हियर द ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर वी हैव इट दिस हेडर कैन कंटेंट्स व्हाट एग्जैक्टली दिस हेडर कैन कंटेंट्स आई एम टेलिंग यू द पोर्ट नंबर सो व्हाट इज माय सोर्स द सोर्स पोर्ट and what is my destination port here when i'm going out so which protocol i'm using the layer four protocol that protocol number what port number it is actually using and what type of service we are using whether it is a tcp and udp the protocol can use the port number that uh, the protocol is using the which service whether it is a tcp or udp or maybe some protocols are both services tcp and udp and here the header can tell PDU in the form of it is a segment. Now we are changing it to data into the segment. Okay. Next here, the third layer is a, the network layer. What is network layer? The network layer can contain what actually? The network layer we have the two major functions. One is routing. One is routing, and one is addressing. IP addressing. This addressing again, we have two schemes. One is IP version four and IP version six. IP version four is a 32 bit address. It is a decimal format. IP version six is a 128 bit address. That is a decimal format. So this address we call actually logical address here. Why we are calling here the network network layer? It is a logical address. Means this address can change any time. So today is the one address. Maybe tomorrow is a different address. So my ESCT can go some different address tomorrow. So it is a pool of addresses. So I am not getting the same address changing. So this static it is okay. Sometimes it is a, a same address we can get. So sometimes maybe you can change that address. So if it is changing, means that is more a constant address. Means it is a logical. Logical means we can change any time. So the next one, the routing. Actually, what is routing here? In this layer, in this bottom three layers, we are calling it is a hardware layers. Why we are calling hardware layers? Because in this three layers, each layer we have the one device. What device we have here? In network layer, we have a router. A router is a layer three device. A router can do what actually? A router can communicate two different networks. In layer two we have a device. The device is called it is a switch. Layer one we have a device. Means we have the cables. So these are the three layers. It is called. There is a reason they call it is a hardware layer. So we are using some physical devices which are connecting these layers. So here we have a IP address. So here this network layer we have a logical address and we have the routing. What exactly do routing here? Routing is a process actually. So we can select a destination path, go to destination. So by help of some protocol. So here also we have the some protocols. What protocols we have? That is called it is a layer three protocols. These protocols are called network layer layer three protocols. Again we have here the protocols are divided into the. It is called it is a dynamic routing protocols. We divide into the classification into the. We divide into two categories. One is routing and one is routed protocols. Routing protocols again they divide into two categories. One is IPC and the EDP. IPC we have some protocols, right? Version one, this version two, IPRP, AIPRP, OSPF, ISA. These protocols are called it is a routing IGP protocols. And EDP we have one protocol that is a BGP. So these protocols are called routing protocols. We have a routed protocol. These protocols are vendor vendor specific, like it is in uh, routed protocols of IP, IPX, and Atricom. IP, IPX is a novel network can use, and here uh, and Atricom, Atri protocol. So nowadays, it's uh, this uh, this protocols are paid off, so no one is using because it's a uh, routed protocol. So depending again, it is a routing protocol. So that is the reason why it's called uh, one. But routing protocols can support these protocols. 
what is routing protocols and what is routing protocols we are just here the routing protocols can carry the path and uh, they can carry any data the routing protocols and routing the routing protocols can carry the data only they can carry any path actually so again it is a routing protocol so it depends on the routing protocol so that is the reason it is a zero so and uh, routing protocols are again divided into two categories so that is the LGP and the VGP what is LGP LGP is nothing but it is an integrated protocol so, what is IGP? IGP can work within the edge. Yes. This is IGP inside. This is IGP. The routing protocols are divided into two categories that is IGP and the EGP. IGP Acronym for IGP is your gateway protocol. It works within the network. It works within the AS. What is AS here? Hello? So here, um, the routing protocols are two categories, one is IGP and uh, one is EGP. What is IGP? Engineering Gateway Protocol. It works within the AS. What is AS? AS is a collection of network. It comes under one single common administrative control here. See here, this is my one domain, which is comes under all the networks, all complete entire inside the networks are comes under one AS. That number is this kind of it is AS, AS pen. So here also we have the AS pen. So here inside, AS20 here. This is the different. It's a different AS. And which is connecting my inside complete entire network. So IGP can work within the AS inside. It can work within the AS IGP. And we have a another the protocol which is the EGP. The EGP works between the ASs. IGP works within the AS and EGP works within the AS, within the two different ASs, means uh, if my AS is here 10 and my AS is 20, so it doesn't communicate, so we need a one more protocol, that protocol is called that thing that it is the EGP protocol, the EGP protocol can work different two ASs, it works between the two different ASs. So this is, it is a routing so it is some this kind of different break generation. So the next step uh, here, this header, the network layer data contains one actually. Here we have the IP address. Means here it contains source IP and destination IP. Destination IP here. And <coughs> the header contains what exactly? Source IP, destination IP. And PDU in the form of PDU packets here. Here segments are divided into the packets here. The data is now it is the packets. Okay. The next data link layer. The data link layer uh, we have divided into the two categories, two layers again. One is LLC and one is MAC. Media access control and logic link control. What is your logic link control? See here. We have a logical address and in data link layer we have the one physical address. This is a logical address. Logical address. So LLC can maintain what actually? LLC can maintain the link here. So the data link is a physical. So physical layer. The physical layer can <coughs> communicate with this link, the data link layer. So where it can connect here in the MAC. MAC is nothing but it is a network interface card. It is called Ethernet port here. So this MAC is having a 48 bit hexadecimal address. So here the which device we have to communicate. So here we have a layer 2 devices, switch, hub, bridge, link. These are the devices which are it is a layer 2 devices. 
the lay to device the lay to device board packing so can contain header can contain here we have the source mac the header contains with the source mac and destination mac and that is the pdu the header can contain the pdu in the form of it is a frames the data here and there is a segment segments to packets packets to here the frames here frames this is frame and the header contains source mac and destination mac so here we have the error correction in, in this layer that is for llc that is called it is a uh, uh, crc cyclic redundancy check and the uh, access frame check segments so because in this layer we have a data in the form of it is a frame so that is called it is a frame check sequence hcs the center contains what source mac destination mac crc hcs parity so we have so many the parameters inside it so many fields we have in the last layer it is called it is a physical layer what is physical the finally data in the form of it is a bits the computer can understand only one language that is a binary language so finally the data is in the form of it is a bits zero and ones so it contains signals electrical signals electrical pulses so here it is a voice was again the same other side also we have to communicate same the voice for that is physical data link layer network transport session presentation application so finally your data is built so when the signal is coming out here so when reach when it is a physical link so it can build <coughs> the zeros and ones again it is a frames the frames to packets packets to segment segments to the next finally data so this is also osa models If you have any doubts, please raise up. Doubts, you can ask. So I can clarify. So what is the exactly network? What is the basic computation? So from the each bit. If you have any queries or any question.